Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to show you how to edit tabs and slots in the monogram lantern design using Inkscape. It's going to be really easy and once you learn how to do this, you're going to be able to use this on all kinds of other designs as well and you're going to be glad you learned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the four slots that are here on the top piece of the lantern and then we're going to copy and paste this piece up to here because there's no reason to change all eight when they're exactly the same shape. Then we'll move over to here, change two of the lengths of the tabs here, and then copy and paste that three more times, and we'll be done. That's all there is to it. So the first thing we're going to do is select this, and you see that it's all grouped together. And we're going to right-click and go down to Ungroup. And then we're going to select it again and ungroup one more time. And now you should be able to select the individual pieces somewhat but you'll notice that you can't select these over here. This is a good uh, time to learn the other thing that people trip up on other than ungroup on Inkscape, and that is break apart. So we're gonna leave this selected and go to path and break apart. And then now you'll see all these pieces are individually selectable, all right? And that's exactly what we needed. Occasionally I found that Inkscape, when you break things apart, will turn everything black, which is really, distracting and I really have no idea why it does that but if it does that then you need to go over here to the stroke and fill panel and turn the fill off and turn the stroke on just like it is now and we may find that to happen to us here in just a minute so what we're going to do now is we don't need these uh, we don't need to do anything with these feet here so we'll just leave those alone and let's work our way around these four slots now this is made for 0.201 material and let's just, for the sake of this example, let's say that my material is 0.116, 0.116. So we're going to select this top slot and go right up here to the height and type in 0.116 and hit tab. And we're going to work our way around clockwise, 0 0.116, 0.116. And you see, this is very fast. If I wasn't talking, we would actually be done by now. Very, very easy. And so, you know what? We can either copy and paste this up there, or we can just select these and do these individually as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just, we'll just, for the, for the exercise, I'll do these with you. I'm going to go back up here to Path and Break Apart. And now you'll see that all these are individually selectable again. And this one is 0.116. We'll go the opposite way just for fun. 0 0.116, 0 0.116, and the last one, 0.116. And we are done with that. Now, all we gotta do is, is edit two of these slots, I mean, sorry, the tabs, and we will be done with this whole editing process. I'm gonna delete these three because we don't need them, and I'll go back and I'll, um, I'll copy and paste this one once we get done. So now what I do is I draw out a rectangle that is the width of the, of the tab I need it to be. So in this case, I'm going to draw it out like this. I don't really care how long it is. I'll make it nice and long. And when I draw it, I'm then going to go up here to uh, the, this panel up here again. And I'm going to change this to inches. And now you see that the width is 0.182. I'm going to change it to 0.116. And uh, now you see that my rectangle is the right size for what I need. I'm going to zoom in a little further and show you what I do here now. I'm going to drag this rectangle on top of this, this um, panel that I'm working on. And I'm going to line it up as best I can right with the, this would actually be the bottom, <laughs> this is sideways, right against this line right here. Because what I'm going to do then is I'm going to drag this tab in to make it smaller so it doesn't stick out. And I'll do that by using this tool right here, the uh, Edit Path by Nodes. And now when I click on this right here, you're going to see that there's a node right there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to simply drag it in until it aligns with that line I just put in there. And now I can do the same thing with this one and drag it in. And we are done with this side. That's all there is to it. I will then grab my rectangle that I used for my guide. Whoops. Except I grabbed the wrong one, of course. Yep. And drag him over here. We'll do the exact same thing. 
line it up right here and we will be all done. In fact, I bet you got this already. You could just turn this video off because you don't need it anymore. Go to the uh, edit path by nodes again. Select this node right here. Drag it in. Oops, sorry, way too far. Right there. And then we'll slide down to the one below. Select it. We'll move it in. And guess what? We are done. That's all there is to it. You can now delete this other rectangle. And you are done. And you just simply uh, copy and paste. You need three more of these. So we'll copy and paste three more. And we are done with the editing. That's all there is to it. I won't even make you stick around to watch me uh, copy and paste those. That's all you need to do to make this lantern work for 1 8 materials. I hope that went well for you. If you have any questions, let me know. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and show me what you guys make. I'd love to see them.